We've just landed in Herefordshire, we're in Callow, which is about three miles south of Hereford. And uh, if there's a one side of the four that we're going to see Septoria, we'll probably see it here. Are we seeing Septoria then? Yeah, it's here in spades, uh, in both the Siskin and the Trinity here. Two very different varieties in their resistance ratings. Trinity, the more susceptible. But the Siskin, it's Septoria causing the yellowing on the tips of the tops of these crops. It's there, it's up on the top, upper leaves. To sum up as it could be at this stage in, in the season. And although Siskin was uh, a fairly high resistance, it's been drilled early, so... Um yeah, that, that, that means we're seeing the disease. It's interesting, we've got a co contrast behind you where it hasn't been sown so early and there's a considerable difference in the amount of disease you're seeing there between the two. So here in Hereford we're seeing quite a difference between the early drill crops and the late drill crops. Presumably we're seeing more disease in the early drill crops. That's certainly the case. Uh, it's a big change from where we've been up in Kaywood. We're a complete leaf further ahead down here than we are up in my part of Yorkshire and the disease levels are considerably higher uh, particularly in the early drilled. Okay, so T0 would probably go on in the next few days. What about T1, perhaps in a month's time, in these high-risk situations? Are we, are we talking about STHI? I think you are talking STHIs in this particular situation. You know the pressure is going to remain high. You might have a little bit of flexibility with one or two varieties like Siskin or Graham, but still, I think most people will be considering some form of STHI at T1.